Everybody, Lady Gear to you here. Welcome back to Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we got the Goron Mask and entered the Snowhead Mountain area thing. Now, you might be wondering, gee, Lady Gear to you, what are you doing over in the Southern Swamp? But, uh, um, uh, well, I decided that I'm gonna go back and get those heart pieces that I originally intended to get. Now, um, now, uh, now what you want to do is that, uh, you want to talk to this guy first. Okay, we get to enter the competition, the Big Tagraph contest, the, we get to talk to the person over here. This is the person that you have to rescue to get the potions, um, and stuff. Uh, you have to take a boat cruise first, um, so, enjoy the cruise, I guess. Um, enjoy it on your own time, I'm probably going to cut this part out, either that or just play, like, music and stuff. That tree right there kind of looks like one of those trees from Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh my god, it's the moon! He looks so adorable today! Did you do something different to your face? Oh, I, oh, I see. Yeah, you're angry right now, so you don't want to talk to me. That's very rude of you. I broke it. Aw, it's a froggy! You're so adorable! Oh, who's so adorable? You are! You are! That frog is actually going to be important for a later side quest, which I'm not going to be covering right now, mostly because I don't have the mask actually required for it. What you want to do is that you want to take a picture of the Deku King himself. That wasn't a very good picture. Now I want to see what happens if you take off the Deku mask while you're in here. We get thrown out. I don't know what I'm singing, but then again, whatever I when I d I can't even sing. Aw, the building has a face on it, although it's not smiling because it's rude. Well then, why don't you show me the pictograph you've taken? Who told you? <gasps> the king! You are amazing! If you're not a Deku scrub, you're not even allowed to enter the Deku Palace, but somehow you took this picture. This is a great sign. This is as rare as they come. I'm giving you a big prize. If you heard that, that was my head colliding with my desk. You're supposed to get a heart piece from this, but I don't understand how. I don't understand why he's not giving me a heart container. So I'm just going to continue on with the normal game and just forget about that. Okay, we are back in Snowhead. I think I didn't. I think I forgot to mention it to the place. The place's official name in the previous video, but I don't care right now. Yay. Um, I actually, I was actually telling you guys a story yesterday, and I totally forgot about it. Um, when I was in this area, I was talking about how I was watching Yuri of Wind's video on the beta of Luigi's Manson, and I told you guys that, and I was telling you guys that something in it creeped me out, and I never actually got around to what I was saying because it got sidetracked, but, uh, Talk because everything because everything was just happening at once in the video, but um, what was happening? But I swear I can never play that game again because uh, um, if you guys look up his video, um, he talks about 
that the that in the that Luigi had 24 hours to save Mario, and that if he didn't, he'd get like really depressed or something. And his face kind of creeps me out now. Anyway, we're going to go over here and destroy the baby. Destroy the. Why is there glass protecting the baby? Well, daddy, I'm cold, daddy. Huh? Ah, darn me! Where's my daddy? Where's my daddy? So this child is missing his daddy. How depressing. Anyway, um, there's actually something over here that I want to take care of real quick before I forget. Um, it's going to take me a little bit, uh, because, uh, because my aiming is not that good, so I guess I'll just cut ahead. Anyway. Okay, so what we have to do is that we have to go save, is that we have to go find uh, that, um, uh, baby Goron's, uh, uh, father and stuff. Um, he's actually in this area right here. But he's like frozen and stuff. So what I'm going to do is it. I'm going to go over to this area over here. And I'm talking in a very monotone voice and thing, stuff and things. Okay, so what we want to do is that we want to take spring water. And we have to go as quickly as we possibly can. Okay, now we found this guy, and we have to save him using our special spring water thingy of awesomeness. You have to be careful because the spring water will cool down if you're not careful. Oh my god, he's so old! Ah! Oh, what was I doing? <laughs> oh, it's, it's already this late, I must hurry. Oh? Oh, you're Dormani. But you're supposed to be dead. Am I lose? Well, that's a weird thing to say. Am I hallucinating? Maybe this is also the doing of the Snowhead's magic power. That uh, I thought I said powder for a second. Hmm, I've been made a fool of. But that's impossible. I refuse to flinch. If I see the past, if I see past the illusion, you'll vanish in an instant. What? My son's crying because he misses me. How, why do you? Why do you know that? We have learned the lullaby intro. Now, Snowhead is quite possibly my favorite area just because of how much emotion they put into it. Um, there's actually a little fun piece of trivia about, well, actually every area in this game, but, um, but I'm not going to be talking about that at least for a while because. Uh, it's go because if I do, then it will spoil the other areas of the game. So I'm gonna wait to do that for a different time. Now, what we want to do is that we want to go over here and ground pound. Oops, ground pound. Yeah. Um. There's
there's something over here that I want to take care of first. Um, uh, there's a, there, this is the Gorn Sop. Oh, welcome. I'm going to buy a red potion because I could use some. Everything in this area is more expensive than it would be in Clock Town because it's all, because everything, because this area is frozen and stuff and it's hard to get things. Kind of like how, um, I can't really think of an example of what that is, but, okay, anyway, let's just go take care of the stupid thing. That song, that's a song Daddy always plays for me before I go to sleep. I'll sing the next part. <laughs> he has such a beautiful voice. <laughs> He's the next Beethoven. Not really. more like the next Justin Bieber. He has a terrible singing voice. Uh, you played the Goron lullaby. Uh, I just really like this I just really love this uh, scene so much. This is a huge reason why Majora's Mask is my second favorite Zelda game ever. Um, my first is obviously Link's Awakening because I talk about that game all the time. And now that stupid child has finally fallen asleep. Oh yeah. <laughs> All of you Goombas, Goombas, Gorons are falling asleep. I want to see if it works on this guy. Breaking their pots. Fear me. Okay, I'm going to cut ahead to the next area that we're supposed to go to. Um, before I do that, I just want to say that, um, for the most part, what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be like not collect not doing the side quests until later in the project i'm just going to go like go through the story collect masks whenever i remember whenever i feel like and get some heart pieces whenever it's convenient for me and later on the project i'll i'll make a bunch of montages like a montage of all the heart pieces in certain southern swamp the masks of the Gorn village things like that and that's what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, we got a heart. Okie dokie. Now what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be going over here. Oh my god. It's a blue keys. I want the autograph. Road. Um, we're actually going to have... I don't have any arrows. Never mind. I'm not going to destroy it right now. Now we're going to want to be like... I don't know. We're going to roll around this place over here and do some super cool stuff because we are awesome and things like that. I cannot believe I did it on my first try. That was awesome. Oh, I 
this is the place where Darmani like died and stuff, so um but luckily we are not really but luckily we are um smarter than Darmani and we can actually do things. You wanna get as close as you can but not too close. And perform the Goran lullaby. I like how Darmani's arm is like glitching through that snowball thing right there. This guy's name should be Frederick. Yes, Leroy. We slayed the beast. And now we can actually progress into the next dungeon. Set over here. Um, get away from your ruffles. Um, this cave right here is where the southern, no, not southern, uh, it's where the snowhead uh, fairy fountain thing is. Um, like in, just like I did in the first dungeon, I'm not going to neglect all the stray fairies while I'm doing the dungeon itself. I'm going to be going, ow. I'm going to be going through it a second time to and get the straight fairies then. Kind of like a little montage thing. Alright, you want to be careful. Um, I should probably use my potion, but at the same time, probably not because they're like hearts right inside. So this next this next dungeon is probably going to be the first one. This is going to be that's going to take me two videos to do. We are now in Snowhead Temple, my favorite dungeon of the game. So thank you guys for watching this part of Legends of Majora's Mask. And until next time, later, cater to you. Oh yeah, die little snow things. Mm -hmm.